In this mini tutorial, we're going to look at an effect called the glow effect. So this will be great for, for ghosts or other ethereal effects, or if you have flames where you want to change the intensity or, or other attributes about the glow, then this is a, a cool effect that you can do. So if I have a on my jack-o'-lantern here, I have a face from Atmos effects. And so with that selected, choose the glow effect. And it gives you all of these settings to affect our Jekyll interface here. A little threshold, which you can kind of see changing here. You can change the glow radius. So you can play with all of these and just kind of get until you get the, the effect you want. You can also switch the setting to A and B colors and change what the colors are that you're going to be using. So if you didn't want it to be yellow. Let's see if this actually works. Like I think it will switch these colors to something weird. And should be able to change it here. Yeah, kind of changed it. <laughs> so those are some settings that you can play with. And you can do it on ghosts too. Let's try adding that effect to the ghosts. Let's see what that looks like. So if I take it to the extreme, you can kind of see what it does. So that way you can find the sweet spot of where it's showing up just how you want it with just the right amount. Of glow. Okay. Another thing you can do with the glow effect too, is you can decide when along this timeline, these settings will apply. And with that, you can then play around with the, the brightness and the thresholds and things like that to get it to get a, a flickering effect. And so the way you do that is once again with our face selected, um, choose a point in the timeline where you want the settings to change. Expand the, the settings and click on glow and that will get you all the glow settings again. And there's a little stopwatch next to each of these settings. So if I let's set this at like maximum so we can see the difference as easily as we can. And if I hit that little stopwatch, then it's going to keyframe this. It's going to put a little marker there. And then as I move this time frame to a different spot, I can change the setting to something else extreme so we can see what it's doing. And now there's two little markers there. So you can see how it changes. So you can, you can play with that to get kind of a flickering effect. You can see how that works. So just another thing you can play with in here. Get the other cool features in the glow effects section or other effects you like for flames or ghosts. And let me know. And we can do a video on that too.